While the pre-built staircase is an Xactimate and work for simple jobs, sometimes a more complex staircase is needed. The custom staircase tool works a little differently from other tools in Sketch. Rather than clicking once to place an object like a room or a door, using the custom staircase tool takes more clicking. The first click determines where the staircase will start and the direction of the first flight. Remember that the custom staircase tool always builds staircases up. Next, drag the mouse until the piece you're working on is the correct size. The next click sets the length of the first flight. Then you drag again to set the length of the landing, and the next click sets the size of the landing. Then you can drag and click to create flights and landings until you have everything you need. The key to using the tool is to know what piece of the staircase you're working on so you know what your next click will finalize. Landing, flight, landing, flight, landing, flight, landing. To finalize a staircase, press the escape key. This will disregard the current piece and finalize all of the staircase that has been built by converting them into staircase rooms in the sketch. Let's do a more practical example. This entryway needs an L-shaped staircase in the corner of the room. I can use a custom staircase tool to draw this staircase in just a few clicks. First, I'll choose the custom staircase from the list and carefully place the first step in the right place along the wall. When it looks good, I'll click to lock the position in place. The next decision to make is the length of the first flight. As I drag the mouse, the flight extends. When I approach the perpendicular wall ahead, my flight snaps into place to save room for the landing. That's what I want, so I'll click to lock the flight in place. Next up is determining the size of the landing. If I drag to the side, I could make a longer landing. In this case, however, I want the default square landing. So I'll bring the mouse back and click in the landing to lock it in place. Next is the upper flight, which I can drag out to the side. When it looks good, I'll click again. The next choice the tool wants me to make is for another landing. I don't want a landing on this flight and I think the staircase looks good. To exit the tool and finalize the pieces I've already done, I'll press escape on the keyboard. The only thing left to do is to double check the dimensions and properties and make any needed changes. The custom staircase tool allows you to quickly and flexibly add any staircase to your sketch. Fill out the survey below to let us know if there's anything you'd like to learn more about. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more expert tips each week. Visit exactware.com forward slash training for additional training on Exactware products.